All right, so next weather meteorologist, Alyssa Gonzalez, is joining <laughs> us now. And wow, what a just gorgeous day out there. You saw it. That's where I want to be. I want to be with Trish. Can, I, can we all go yeah. to Keep Biscayne? Let's I'll go. Take, I'll that's take a nice cake. She, yeah. she got the best and job the today. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the water, of course, which I don't get tired of reminding you all because let me tell you that he can sneak up on you and the sun, too. And then with the heating of the day, we are still going to be dealing with those storms that will march towards the east coast over the metro areas of Broward and Dade as we head into today, tomorrow, that pattern will continue those afternoon, early evening storms. But for the weekend, I have good news for those of you who may be planning ahead and thinking about heading to the beach or being outside. Well, the afternoon hours are going to look much drier and hotter, but we're going to see the chance for morning and midday rain because the storms will then start to track inland and to the west. It's incredible to see that it's only noon and already we're seeing that temperature of 91 in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. It already feels close to the hundreds all across South Florida and indeed our feels like temperatures will be soaring to the triple digits yesterday. Some areas even felt like 105, 106. We had the record heat in Miami with highs in the upper 90s. I mean, that is seriously hot and you want to be careful, of course, and hopefully we'll get some rain because that brings us some relief and we need the rain. So yeah, the timing isn't great because it could be right around a pickup school car line could be a little wet and messy in spots as we will see from our forecast models between 2, 3, 4 p.m. There is a chance for some downpours here as we see our latest models coming in and around 5, 6 p.m. Still a chance for some storms around the evening commute. As we look ahead into your Friday in the morning, there might be a few showers and then storms developing into the afternoon and evening. So taking a look at the tropics, it's quiet in the Atlantic. There is this disturbance near Central America that the Hurricane Center is giving a 30% chance of development. So yeah, highs today could reach 94 or hotter than that. That was the case yesterday before the storms fire up. And then tomorrow we'll wake up the upper 70s should be mostly dry and then we'll see the storms in the afternoon and evening but then we're going to flip flop those storms to the west coast as we head into saturday and sunday so in the morning plan for some rain some passing showers with the rain chances lower 30 percent and then the storm chance will be higher for the gulf coast and temperatures will be in the low 90s for highs through the weekend